My name's Anne Egbert. I'm a co-curator with Polly, and um, the two of us together developed the idea for Topophobia out of a previous exhibition that we curated called Nature and Nation. Um, and we began to think about ideas of landscape uh, initially and thinking about sort of the post-apocalyptic landscape and gradually as we began to we, we sort of hit a point where we suddenly realized that this was a very topical subject and we began to get more interested in something that was slightly off to the side of that which again was thinking about this idea of a low level anxiety rather than the end of the world um, that kind of thing primarily the idea of fear of uh, place and perhaps um, provokes the notion that somebody's going to come here and be frightened or they're going to experience words that are going to be scary. But it's, um, I think we're thinking about fearfulness of place in terms of a much more low-level, sort of insidious fear that perhaps comes with um, contemporary dissipation of ideas of where um, an enemy might be or a particular kind of boundary might be. That, uh, the idea of um, spaces themselves becoming um, virtual, a boundless, something that you are not quite sure where you're placed within. Um, the idea of things like perhaps like terrorism as being this sort of low level anxiety rather than perhaps something that's understood as uh, the Cold War with this kind of a space out there that you could easily recognise as being a thing to be afraid of. And some of the works particularly touch on things like the Cold War or um, video of the space where the Berlin Wall mil militarised zone once stood. So uh, all of these things are referenced but it's not necessarily a, a ghost ride or a horror story. Uh, yeah. I suppose the thing that uh, I'm really interested in terms of um, ideas of space is the idea of virtual space and how we uh, engage with this space that's rather amorphous, a space where we can change ourselves constantly um, in terms of a virtual space. You can reconstruct your space, you can kind of have multiple personalities. It's an edgeless space, it's uh, um, accessible globally, so that must do something with how we experience and encounter place and space. You know, what, what is it about um, the the devices that we see the world through, how they impact on us, whether it's photography or the virtual world, um, whether it's drawing, um, whether it's sculpture or collage or whatever it might be, how, how do we um, somehow understand the world differently when we encounter these dis different systems of picturing place. So those are the things that I'm really interested in and that we wanted to touch on um, with the works we selected for the show.